We begin with news for Jax reporter Kelly Wiley. Kelly, you went to the state to find the truth about long-term living facilities. Yeah, and we have not heard back from them yet. We They acknowledged our email and said they were getting back to us, but even to right now, we've not heard from them. Today, I spoke with the CEO who says this list has errors, and those errors have led to distrust between providers and families. The CEO of Florida's Assisted Living Association says there's multiple mistakes in the state's list of senior facilities with COVID-19 patients. The list released Saturday, the command of Florida's governor had 303 long-term care facilities listed. The list has since grown to 313 facilities. As far as the errors in the data, it's very distressing. I mean, I've had a member on the phone in tears. One of the communities confused by the list is assisted living facility Starling at Nocatee. Emails from management say there were not any cases of COVID-19 at the facility, but the list released by the Florida Department of Health lists Starling as the only long-term care facility with cases of COVID-19 in St. John's County. In fact, at the same time, a separate release of county by county data by the health department showed five COVID-19 cases in long-term care facilities in St. John's. The number has since been corrected to show just two cases in long-term care facilities. Families shared this email from management that said employees quarantined due to a multitude of reasons and remained completely out of the community for over six weeks. One of those non-care employees self-quarantined due to age and risk. And during that period of isolation, the employee tested positive after being out of the community for over two weeks and remaining out for an additional two weeks. They wrote, unfortunately, there are multiple communities reporting errors in a state release list. The vice president of operations spoke with us. Absolutely, I do think that it's the right move to release the list. Um, I just wish that it was accurate information that was released because now all that's happened is panic has been created. Um, you know, distrust has been created. The list released by the Florida Health Department is also incomplete. It doesn't show how many people have been tested, how many tested positive, and how many have been hospitalized from each long-term care facility. It's information neighboring state Georgia's Department of Health has already started releasing publicly. And the association CEO tells me these errors are across the board, across the state. We're still trying to learn more from the Florida Department of Health to see if they can clarify some of these errors or uh, indicate why they may be indicated in their data. For now, reporting in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.